Alright, hey everybody, uh, we're back. Sorry about the false start earlier. Uh, yeah, so, we are going to play some Aurora 4X. I had started this uh, stream yesterday. Wasn't, uh, wasn't happy with, uh, with what ended up uh, happening. The game uh, got bogged down early on because of, uh, sort of turn processing lag because we had another AI faction in there. So we are going to do that again with no AI faction at the beginning, but they'll spawn in. I've got some difficulty set ramped up a little bit. Uh, we'll use a Canadian names this time. Uh, this looks all right. We'll use uh, made up star systems because I'll be a bit more varied. Uh, yeah, we'll keep uh, the asteroids still. All right, this will be our start. All right, game setup complete. Um, just making sure everything's fine. We don't need to worry about the detection this time because uh, we're uh, there shouldn't be anything else out there detecting things. All right, let's set this up properly. Um, let's get rid of these asteroids. Let's. Uh, in fact, we don't need the. Trump point survey locations. Let's get the events on. Uh, let's turn this on. Let's get our automated assignments. Let's take a quick look at our governors here. Factory. Okay. Oh, this is good. Olivia Dobson. That is looking excellent. Ooh. But Anna Marsh is even better somehow. So let's see, we've got 20, 15, 15. Oh, that's amazing. You are hired. Okay. Um, let's take a look at our start here in terms of our minerals. All right, a little tight on corundium here, but uh, we can make it happen. Um, all right, so it's time to edit our start a little bit. So we got, let's see, we got some mines, construction factories, got a little bit of everything here, a lot of fuel, research labs, yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff in a TN start. Uh, let's look at the research. All right, good, we got CPU. Don't have a propulsion guy, but uh, that's all right. All right, let, let's uh, start spending some of our RP. So let's turn the uh, Space Master mode on. And uh, let's uh, get our starting tech going. So terraforming modules. Gonna need that. And that deducts it from our starting RP. Uh, and we're gonna need in logistics uh, let's see, we need tractor beam, we need orbital habitat, we need troop transports, um, fuel storage large just for convenience, uh, 
yeah, that's, I think, all we need right here. Um, do we have GeoSurveys? We better have GeoSurveys. Yeah, we do. Okay. Um, all right, we're going to need at least NPE engines. So let's get those. Let's get a bit of fuel efficiency here. And we'll get a bit of tuning for a few special builds. We'll need that. Uh, let's get some lighter armor. Let's get... Um, we'll build our grav survey ships right away. So let's go back here into propulsion. And let's get our jump stuff figured out. So we need one of these, one of these. And we're going to need efficiency five. This is just stuff that I know from the builds that I usually use. I know this is the tech that I need to make the things that I want. OK, now we can make grab sensors. All right. Uh, oh, do we have like cryo stuff? Yeah, we do. Okay, let's start to, uh, oh, we need, let, let's just make some engines here. So, uh, NPE, uh, let's get some freighters going, some big commercial engines. Uh, these could be, they don't have to be super, we could go. Go 500, 200. Let's go. This will be a nice compromise. We don't have to go. We want a bit of speed here. Uh, so let's get uh, this guy. And let's get our mini version for our survey ships. You'll see how this fits in in just a moment. At that guy, okay. Um, let's now go ahead and design our first few ships. So we'll say the let's make this our geo survey ship. Uh, so you're gonna have one of these guys, uh, one geo survey. Oh, I didn't design the jump drive, let's do that. Max jump size. There we go. All right, let's go back to our ship design. Let's refresh this tech here. Okay, there's our jump drive. We don't need a bridge because it's a fast attack craft, less than a thousand tons, or it will be. We need large fuel storage, just about that much. Maintenance is good. Can we get like 10 years? Oh yeah, there's that design. Uh, I could actually probably, I could go with the bigger engine here, I think. Um, how, what's the actual, um, exact, yeah, 18.6, so we have a bit of room here. Not a lot of room. But we can go, we can make this work, we can... Trim down the deployment time a little bit. Uh, or do we? Yeah, let's do that. Let's make this engine. Five hull sizes. Like that. Let's do this one instead. All right. I'll be a bit faster. Yeah, we can still fit everything. Love it. Okay, fuel storage. Can fit anything else? Nope. Perfect. So actually, if we're gonna do fifty thousand, might as well just put a normal fuel storage in there. Good. Twenty-four crew jump geo. So normally, you know, the first geo survey, you don't need to put a jump drive in, but we are future-proofing this. 
Um, we're going to copy this design. And then rename it. Okay, the Iroquois class uh, Grav Survey Ship. I'm going to replace this with a Grav Survey Sensor. Done. Okay, let's get another design here. The Upholder class Freighter. All right, this one is going to be uh, four of these guys. And five of these guys and then a standard cargo hold done uh, let's copy this design how do we name it the Kingston class colony ship with 10 cryogenic transports Everything else should be good. Let's make sure, yeah, we can build the freighter and the colony ship at the same, from the same uh, spot. Let's get another design in here. Uh, this will be a troop transport. Uh, we need five of these. And I think two engines ought to do it. Done. Uh, what else do we need? We are going to need a... Um, I mean, might as well design it now. We're going to need it. We want a terraforming base. Uh, this is going to be one orbital habitat with... 50 terraforming modules. Now, just for fun, let's see if this kind of tug can push it around. Uh, that's a little on the slow end. Let's design a uh, slightly beefier engine here. Yeah. Just making sure. So that's our uh, oh, I forgot the I don't know why I took them off. It's the engines I wanted to take off, but I already had them off. Okay, so that is our terraforming vessel. Let's get a tug. This tug, uh, just in case he has to stay out for a very long time. Let's give him 50 of these guys. He'll need uh, some fuel. He'll be, need a bit more fuel than that. Let's get him 22 billion kilometers. That's enough for now for a tug. Okay. Uh, What else do we need? I mean, we'll need plenty of other things, but immediately things that we might consider building soon. I think that's, I think we're good. Uh, all right, let's take a look at our shipyards. Um, so they gave us uh, this to start with. Uh, we're gonna modify this a little bit. Um, so we got like, um, All right, so we got a lot of naval, extra naval space that we don't need. So we're going to, uh, so in total, they gave us 25,000 tons of naval uh, shipyard space. Uh, we're not going to use all of that. I'm only going to use 10,000. So let's, uh, let's mod this. So I'm going to switch this to five times a thousand and same here. And we're going to give ourselves a bit of extra uh, commercial instead. So we're going to take this guy. We're going to give two. This will be our freighters and colonizers. This one's nice and big. Let's get him to 135. 
he'll be our uh, for our target. It'll already be built. Um, let's get. We'll add another commercial one. Uh, for. Oh, it didn't. Let's update it. Uh, this will be for the troop transport. And then the rest, I think, we'll build as we... Uh, we'll get a few started. So, for example, for fuel harvesters and, and maybe asteroid miners, we'll see what we decide to do with those. Um, but, yeah, that's what we'll, we'll start with in terms of our shipyards. We won't have any... Or do we maybe... Hmm. All right, let's see if we're going to start with with some military ships right off the bat, or if we're gonna make those. Let's go back to our, oh, what do we have as ground units? Mobile infantry, okay, we're all set. All right, we got about 60,000 left. We gotta invest a lot in our uh, construction here. Uh, we need to get this, this, All right, rather I want to do that. Oh, let's get, uh, yeah, let's get that. Mining, production, mining, shipyard costs. Sodium harvester and asteroid module, I'll wait, I'll research them later. Let's get this research. Uh, okay, that's enough of like a basic start. Let's get a bit more fuel production. Okay. Now, with the rest, that isn't really much in terms of being able to build any real military vessels. But let's get a few things uh, designed, at least. So let's get this. Up and running. Uh, let's then go... Um, Uh, what do we want to see if we can pull off early on? Um, we could do... Yeah, let's not do missiles right away. Uh, what about a small... All right, let's get some turrets in here. And missiles and connects. Let's get some Gauss weapons. Let's get some fire controls. Yeah, let's see about making like a small Gauss PD kind of escort. Uh, so we need a... a Gauss cannon like that. Did Wait, didn't we just research? This on kinetics. Oh yeah, that is the one we researched. Okay, 222. Two, two. Um, and then it can just be um, uh, this will be a good yeah get a gas kind of like that then let's get a turret and let's get like a quad turret if you if we want to track versus um, Like, we're trying to shoot down early game missiles, so... How... Here the rotation gear is... is We don't really have the tech for this, so it's just going to have to be a bad gun. Um, or do we do a twin... And have more of them? Now nah, let's go, let's go quad. All right, let's create this 
this gun turret. Uh, so these guys have a range of like 20,000 kilometers, which isn't much. Let's get a beam fire control. Uh, we don't have any harbening. Ship, ship, that's fine. Uh, we don't need the range to be much. <coughs> Excuse me for that sneeze. Uh, we do want the speed. Um... Yeah, to be as big as, as possible. Uh, we can boost the range a little bit. All right. Uh, I think we need to get our turret done here somewhere. I don't think it got prototyped. Or did it? Let's take a look. No, it didn't. That's weird. I am sure I designed it. Uh, didn't I click? Didn't I click create here? Oh, sometimes uh, is it in energy weapons? Yeah, there you are. Even though it's a Gauss. All right. Let's go back to this ship design here. All right, we still need an engine for it, but uh, let's see. So quad gauss turret or two. Let's get a fire control. And yeah, this will be, this is like a frigate, basically. Let's get ourselves like a... Uh, let's see, if we need like 12 month deployment, we have engineering space, roughly a 500 ton engine. Uh, let's go 600. Let's get an engine. Twelve hull size with all the speed. All right, let's see what this looks like. Oh, I should have made, I should have made this dual engines. Yeah, oh well, uh, we didn't think of that. I mean, we could still Yeah, I could, we could just go bigger, right? <laughs> so what if we have, what if we did do that and go up to like, make it more of a, like a, a cruiser, right? So now we have two 600 ton engines. So we've got 1200 tons of engine. So I'd be comfortable going up to like, I usually have like a quarter of my tonnage as engine. So we can go up to 4,800. Um, in terms of mass, so we can make that happen. Let's, uh... oh, you know what we don't have? <laughs> we don't have a, a sensor. Uh, active sensor. So we need to be shooting down missiles with this ship. So missiles, um, oh, we don't need, we don't need to, f uh, we're not gonna see them we have to. We don't have to see them from very far away. We can't shoot them very far away with this gun, anyways. So, uh, honestly, uh, this is more than enough. I'll go 250k because we might actually make another kind of ship with lasers or something that could technically shoot out to this distance, and it'd be good to have overlap with our sensor range. So, that's fine. All right, there's our sensor. Now we can see what we're shooting at. Uh, let's get a few more of these guns. 
five of these. Do we get another fire control maybe? Dual fire control, another quad. Like that's almost a good ship. Not quite a good ship though, because we don't have any armor. And our maintenance is kind of shit. Let's get, yeah. Our range is pretty terrible too. All right, let's uh, let's get a bit more fuel in this guy. All right, and uh, let's get. Well, we gotta get some more engineering space in here. Yeah. Okay, how about we increase this deployment time a little bit? Two years, not a lot of fuel, but we'll have some support. All right, I mean, this is a ship. <laughs> it's not great. Uh, it's just gonna be a PD screen. Um. But it's, uh, you know, not massive. It's pretty cheap to build. All right. This is fine. Uh, let's also... I'm going to splurge a little bit here. Let's go ahead and get enough tech. Let's go get some missiles. We're going to go a bit over budget on our research, but uh, uh, not too worried about it. Okay, let's get some... Missile agility, warhead strength. Uh, let's get magazines will be fine. We'll get launcher rate. We'll get a couple of these. All right. Let's uh, let's bring up the missile design web page. All right, so we got four. We got forty-eight. We're on nuclear pulse, fuel conversion is 0.7. I think I've got 175 here. Right. Prime propulsion. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, um, let's assume the target is moving at that speed. Let's assume they also have PD. So my PD can shoot this fast, but my ships can only go like this fast. So let's assume I'm fighting myself. Let's go like 150 million kilometers. What do we get? I was expecting worse. Uh, size six missile, that's okay. Do we get like something amazing if we get, if we go a little bigger? Not really, right? Actually for size 10, we can go 16 damage. And what about if we did size four? Can I still get my nine damage? No, not quite. Size five? No, I'm gonna go size six. All right, that works. So we need a uh, 299 MSP engine for a missile. Uh, 
call these the uh, we're we gonna call this series Object variable or with block variable not set. I must have done something in the wrong order. Now uh, that's wonky. It's trying to like pop, it's freaking out with my missile designs. Ah, uh, hang on, let me try to fix this. Just restarted the game here. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'll, I'll have to try to recreate that missile design later. Let's. I'm gonna move this over to the other screen here. Okay, warhead strength is obviously gonna be 2.25. Fuel capacity is 0.5724. Agility, point one. Eight seven six. All right, I think we fixed it. Um, now let's go ahead and get a missile launcher designed. And we're gonna need a missile fire control to shoot at this size of a ship at roughly 150 million kilometers. And we also need an actual search sensor to be able to find ships out that far. We have terrible sensor tech. All right, now we need to go research those things. Uh, let's, oh, I'm no longer in a sim mode. Let's, uh, turn that back on. Gotta refresh that screen. All right. Get those done. Get the sensors. Uh, there's some missile fire control, active search sensor. Okay, uh, let's, uh, oh, we'll need a magazine. Uh, we'll, we'll customize that in just a moment. Let's get a new class going here. Let's gush. Oh, uh, I didn't, uh. So Mackenzie, like this should be like an, uh, what size? Yeah, this could be a destroyer escort. All right, let's do this. Okay, uh, let's see. We want, 
Uh, we're going to need one of these fire controls. We are going to need some missile launchers. I don't know how many yet. We'll see in a moment. Um, how big is this sensor? Oh, it's massive. Yeah, most of these ships are not going to carry that sensor. Just have a few uh, kind of leaders that do. Uh, let's get some engines on you. Three engines, 1,800 uh, tons of engine space. Uh, we could easily go, uh, let's see, 52, that 1,800. How big do we make this ship? If we go with four of these engines, All right, with two of these engines, uh, we go. So my phone just kind of talked to me. I think it. <sighs> my phone heard me say, heard me activated for some reason. Okay, uh, so two engines was forty eight hundred. Uh, three engines, so we can do seventy two with three engines. Let's see. Let's see what we can make happen with that kind of. Uh, design here. Let's go for 24. Uh, let's get a bunch more missiles in here. You know, at that size, you can almost fit the sensor on this ship. more engineering spaces. We need some armor. But we haven't... We don't have any missiles <laughs> on board yet. Um, not a lot of space left for missiles, and we need... No, and we need space for fuel. Sorry for the mic bump there. Hmm. No, we don't, we can't afford this sensor on every ship. We're just going to have a few ships with the sensor. Okay. Uh, something like this. Eight missile launchers. This gives me roughly, um... 800 for a magazine. Not quite that much, though, because we do need to... Uh, uh, we do need to have... Uh, it'll increase the... Like, there'll be crew and stuff that are needed for this. So, let's see. What if we did smaller magazines so that when they blow up, it doesn't destroy my ship? A 350-ton magazine. 96 capacity. Uh, let's play with these numbers a bit. 100, 91. Uh, 96 is nice. That's a good multiple of 6. I like it. Okay. Let's get a magazine here. Perfect. All right, we got a ship. Oh, because I got the four engines. That's why it's going so fast. Yeah. Huh. That's why. So in 200 divided by... 2400, yeah, this is what I meant in terms of the speed. Okay. Um, I 
I mean, let's make, let's put more missiles on there. Can we get more armor? Oh. Well, that's cool. Yeah, let's do that. All right, 12 missile launchers. Uh, yeah, all right. This is not the worst design ever. Uh, okay, and let's get the ordnance. Should be uh, these guys. So we can shoot we can shoot three full well four full volleys and another almost full volley. That's okay. All right. And then let's get another ship. This is going to be oh, I should have renamed uh, or given it a, a type here. This will be a um missile Cruiser. Okay, and then let's get another ship. This will be the ship that has the sensor. <laughs> That's its only job, is to see things. Um, so what else does it do in life? I think it probably has a uh, backup point defense. of engines uh, if it's got two of these engines oh I'd like it to be a little bit beefier though um, yeah we're gonna upscale this we're gonna go up here we're gonna go engineering spaces to get you past two years we're gonna get you some more fuel You're kind of going to be like your bigger cousin. Oh, that's pretty close. Yeah. Except you only have point defense and your job is just to see things with your sensor. So this is like a cruiser leader. You've got a tiny bit of extra space left. Um, Is there anything useful that we can put in here that will fit? Not really. Oh, if we had, if only we had a little more. Oh, can we do um, maintenance storage bay instead of say it? Uh, no. I accidentally took off the bridge. That is not what I meant to do. No, I don't like that. Um, do we make him more fragile? That seems like a terrible idea. Oh, I want to shave another 100. I like the idea of the maintenance storage bay, but maybe it wasn't meant to happen. Um, all right, we'll just give you maybe a bit more fuel then. Oh no, what happened to our engineering spaces? Get rid of this fuel then. Okay. He can be our our command cruiser. All right, so we need um, in terms of naval shipyards. We 
we would have one that was, oh, not 72,000, 7,200. Um, but we have a second one also. And we've got one here, which is designed for the McKenzie. I'm just remembering this as 4,800. All right. Maybe. So we would add extra slipways, I think, to, to these guys, but we don't need to have them right at the beginning. Let's let's assign these uh, these classes. So this is for the um, the command ship, the Saint Laurent. This one is for the cruiser. That's the gush. This is for the destroyer escort, Mackenzie. These are for the geo survey ships, Halifax. These are for the grav survey ships. Iroquois. These are for the tugs, the tribal. These are for the colony ship Kingston, uh, which incidentally means that you can also build the freighter, the upholder. And this is for the troop transport protector. Um, we need a few more designs that I haven't built yet, but we're going to need like a collier, we're going to need a uh, a tanker. Uh, we can build those designs, but we, we don't have the shipyards yet. So actually, let's build those designs before we forget. Uh, let's get a tanker here. Maybe this ship needs to be able to... It'll be parked out for a long period of time. Uh, I really should get uh, a bigger fuel tank here. Uh, this is gonna run on pretty cheap engine, pretty efficient engine. That's all you need really. Let's get, no, let's do even more. How's that? Just under 10,000 tons, a pure tanker. Uh, done. Next, uh, the Obron class is going to be a, a collier. Uh, you are just going to carry missiles around, my friend. Now this forces you to be a missile uh, to be a military ship, unfortunately. Um, so my whatever. So let's give you, but we're still going to give you some fuel efficient commercial engines, maybe the slightly faster kind. Uh, we only need one because this is already a massive ship. Um, you're not going to be fighting. We don't need to give you armor. We do need to give you a ton of... Oh, you know what we should do? Uh, let's make this... Okay, something actually I, I didn't check, but I should make sure that my MSP is okay. 154 for 84. That's good. Uh, 372 for 300. Okay. 333 for 100. Okay, we're good with that. So let's actually make this Obron not only a collier, but let's also make you a supply ship. Um, let's give you some maintenance storage bays. And let's give you some engineering spaces so you don't have to use all, the, all those storage bays on yourself. Uh... 
Okay, yeah, just the one commercial engine. We've got a bunch of s a spare repair uh, parts. Um, so if the magazine can hold, let's see, if our magazine held 600 missiles, that would be 100, 600 capacity, that's 100 missiles. One of my ships... Let's take a look at my ship here. Each one ship carries 260 capacity. So having a collier that only has like 500, that's not much. We need to increase this magazine capacity by a ton. Otherwise, it's kind of a waste. So now we'd be able to, to rearm... Uh, Completely rearm four ships. Uh, that's not a lot. Let's push it to like just under 10,000 tons with this many missiles. And that's a decent range for our military hardware. Okay, well, the ship is designed. We'll. Um, We'll have to see how it, uh, if it's useful at all in practice. Whoop. Okay. Uh, so let's get, let's actually get, get this started. Oh, let's uh, turn off, uh, Space Master mode. Oh no, one last thing. We need to actually give ourselves the ships for our start. Okay. Uh, let's start with... We could build some of these, but I want to start with a... Here, survey task group. Uh, let's start with a couple of... Halifax Geo Surveys. Let's. Uh, we'll just start with. Uh, normally, I built five shipyards, so I'll, I'll, I would have five at a time of these. So let's get five of these guys. Let's get five of the grav survey ships. Okay. Then, in terms of, let's get like. Uh, to, I forget what's the name of my freighter. Yeah, let's get like uh, two freighters. One. Oh, we can just get one uh, troop transport. I think we just have one tanker. We wouldn't necessarily have the collier built yet because we don't even have a shipyard for it. Uh, let's get one colony ship. And let's get, in our battle task group, let's get... Uh, Let's get like uh, five destroyer escorts. Four cruisers. One leader. Okay, we overshot by a little bit our budget, but that's okay. All right, um, so now it will turn space matcher mode off. Okay, uh, so let's get uh, let's get started here. So let's queue up some some stuff. Uh, okay, we need uh, well, we always need construction factories, kind of constantly. I like to get some financial 
centers going in the background, some research labs going in the background, some mines going in the background, and uh, fuel refineries, we got plenty. Uh, oh, we need to start making missiles. Like a ton. Um, all right, in terms of installations, how are we doing? Military Academy, we've got level one. That's pretty bad. We should upgrade that. Um, deep space tracking, we're fine. What about um, spaceport? I don't see it. All right, let's get a few of these missing things. So all right, let me just build. I'm just going to queue up a few of these things individually. Let's get one of these. We need, this is for our collier. We need one of these for our tanker. Then we're going to need a few more of these for other projects to come. Then we'll worry about a terraformer later. Uh, but that'll be, but that's, that's, our start here. Let's um, uh, we would definitely be building. We're constantly going to be building freighters. Uh, did I build a tug? Uh, no, I didn't give myself a tug. So we have we're going to build a tug. Uh, these guys. Well, I don't know how much my. I don't know if we can support this military construction. We're going to wait a second and see. Let's um, let's set our research. I think we're going to do, oh, I think it thinks we're still in SM mode. Um, Let's get asteroid mining modules, just in case this is something that we end up needing. Um, okay, the industry is there. Let's assign our uh, okay, this is our battle task group. Let's get you training. Except Let's get you going really slow. Uh, then, actually, you know what we need before we do anything is we need a bunch of infrastructure to get our first colony going. Let's get that going right at the beginning. Get the survey ships. Uh, yeah. So now we have the survey task group, but within the survey task group, we've got uh, all the individual uh, ships here, right? So the Halifaxes are the geo survey ships. So let's get them doing geo surveys. And then the Iroquois are the grav survey ships. Okay, uh, let's see if we made everything explode. Uh, 
our labs. Oh, this guy can only run five labs. Well, that's not good. All right, this guy could use the other 15 labs. All right, looks like things didn't blow up. Let's zoom in here. Oh, I want to see. Uh... All right, yeah, they burn through a lot of fuel doing training. That might be something we need to uh, think about. <laughs> All right, we found a jump point already. How close is it? Oh, it's right here. Oh, orbit of Jupiter, that's not too far away. Another second jump point. Ooh, that one's really close, right in the orbit of Mars. We'll wait till we find all the jump points before we send out uh, our grav ships through. Yeah, well, of course you ran out of fuel because you're, like, burning through all your fuel like crazy. Uh, let's get you... Hang on, let's do this in a smarter way. Let's go to Earth. Let's refuel. I think I have a tanker in, in here. Let's have... this tanker join the battle group and then we can equalize fuel I want to take a look at our minerals soon uh, here why don't we take a quick look right now uh, so mercury, oh, nice steranium. We've got, what's this accessibility? Okay, bad accessibility on Venus, pretty useless. Um, and so far the rest is just comets. We haven't quite gotten to uh, the Trophian moons yet. Nothing on the moon or Mars, which is too bad, but uh, the duranium on Mercury is actually pretty nice. You know, something I didn't check is, uh, I forget when you spawn in the ships, if they have any uh, actual missiles <laughs> on them. Let's, uh, let me double check that in the battle task. Actually, I can check here. So if I take any of my guts. Yeah, they come fully loaded. Excellent. Okay, we found another uh, jump point. Where? Out here between Uranus and Neptune. Okay, and Europa has what? Ooh, well, hey, I'll take it. Tit uh, Tritanium. We're going to colonize that anyways. Titan has Gallicite. All right, well, those are two more minerals that we don't really have to worry about super early. Um... So we can send auto mines to Mercury for Duranium. Corundium is still going to be an issue. So we need to find Corundium and Mercassium and Boronide for terraformers too. And I haven't checked yet if uh, Saturn or Jupiter have uh, any Sorium. And we haven't quite made it out to Uranus or Neptune. All 
All right, we're building up our freighters. Oh, I also didn't check how we're doing on minerals. We're actually... Oh, because we weren't building... Yeah, that's why. Uh, well, let's keep building freighters. I actually want to build another leader here because I think you'd want to have some backup. Um... And to tell you the truth, we were also going to I'll wait. I'll bu I'll build more of those uh survey ships in a little bit. Ooh, Ganymede. Oh, wait, that's Europa. What does Ganymede have? All right, Neutronium and Fendrite. Not great accessibility, unfortunately. What's that event? All right, our ships are getting a little worn out, out in deep space. Uh, and so it is time to stop training. Head back to Earth, refuel, resupply. And overall. All right, there's a fourth jump point. So let's uh, queue up the graph survey ships. To go explore. I know there are only four because I set the game to be that way. Oh, good, we finished Sorium Harvester. Um, I'm going to wait till we have an actual engine uh, specialist to get my engine stuff going, but we really desperately need that. In the meantime, I think we can afford to spend uh, a bunch of research time in uh, in this tree over here. Oh, you know what? I didn't set the uh, a naming convention for the ships. Uh, that's okay. Well, they'll just be they'll just have the same names. What? I didn't even. I didn't notice. Oh no, they haven't been built yet at all. Sorry, I, I, was, I thought I was here. Uh, yeah, we should kind of name give them names, right? That'd be that'd be a lot more fun. Let's go to the class designs. Um, all right, these destroyer escorts, yeah, uh, okay, destroyer escorts, let's call them, um, so these are point defense ships, uh, we can name them after... Um, 
swords would be more of a an offensive type ship. What about forts? Okay, and let's get the uh, these guys could be named after like swords. These are my missile, not Scandinavia. I mean, I guess we could, but. About swords and the leaders can be named after uh, these are the sensors basically so we could name them after the periodic table um, so that'll work for the next ships that I built. Uh, I guess the initial run uh, yeah, I don't know if there's an efficient way to rename these ships. Oh, well I could do it like Like this, I guess. Uh, so I just said uh, these would be periodic table, right? All right. Well, actually, the first one should be... Oh, I clicked it by accident. <laughs> Sulfur. All right. Uh, whatever. Let's... And then this one... I said it would be swords, right? All right, Jen. Let's uh, pick these at random. The Gladius. Power. And the short sword. And then the Mackenzies, I said they would be named after forts. Oh. There's not a lot of forts, guys. This list is not long enough. Uh, cities? Cities is always a good name. We'll, we'll change that in the, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we can never go wrong with cities. Just kind of randomly clicking down the list. Okay, and let's go back to the McKinsey's here, and we'll change this to cities. Okay, that's nicer. Uh, so I think we're done uh, with uh, they finished the overhaul. Yeah, okay. Let's get back out there, folks. Train more. Did I miss anything in the events? No. Okay. Oh, so it's actually, I see. So because I didn't choose the the real, interesting. Okay, so it's automatically assigning the names of the new systems based on my theme name. I thought it had its own list. Uh, that's okay. Uh, so this is the Ottawa system. Uh, let's take a look. Not a ton of asteroids. Not very promising in terms of uh, colonizability. 
Uh, we're going to start needing a lot more survey ships, so let's get those queued up. Um, these I'm not going to bother uh, renaming because it's there's just so many of them. Okay, the Toronto system, empty. Although it does have a jump point in it. Ooh. The Montreal Nebula. That is cool. Okay. Folks, we have ourselves a nebula. A nebula are pretty interesting. Um, in, I forget all the details. Let me look this up so I don't say anything uh, that is not true. Let me just look this up on the wiki again. Uh, if I remember correctly, minerals are going to be uh, increased. Okay. Uh, prevents the use of shields and missiles, and it disrupts sensors and increases fuel consumption. Um, it limits the maximum speed. Uh based on the armor thickness. Uh, sensor range is diminished, and then, yeah, fire control systems are, are all pretty bad. They don't work very well. Okay. Um, and... Yeah, we generally can expect more minerals. It's odd that often you have a lot of asteroids. Here we actually just have a bunch of planets. But we might have a ton of minerals in here, so this could be really interesting. Uh, that's pretty cool. All right, we built some more freighters. Let's keep uh, going. How are we doing in terms of our mining? Yeah, we're still uh, we're still mining enough. Good. It's been a while since that because uh, nebula don't spawn if you have um, uh, nebula don't spawn if you. So we're gonna send this guy through to Toronto because there's already a jump point here that needs to be explored. Uh, if you're using the real uh, systems, so that's one good reason to not do that, to use the uh, made-up system names, because they're fun. Ooh, we got our engine guy. Excellent. Oh, I forgot I was building this infrastructure. Okay, let's take a look at. Um, all right, let's take a look at, at the at our mineral situation here. So, um, duranium. We'll have to send auto mines to Mercury. Let's just kind of make that a colony already. Neutronium. Uh, if we're desperate, we got some comets. And we'll just passively slurp it up, I think, on Ganymede, which we're going to colonize anyways. I'm going to try to colonize a bunch of planets here um, and do some be pretty active in terms of terraforming. Corbamite. Um, not great. This is, like, way out there. Although this is, honestly, this is a pretty... The problem is this place is really far away, but uh, this might be our best source of Mercassium, so we might end up sending auto mines here, even though it's so far... Um, Tritanium, we're doing great on Europa. Well, actually, let's, let's get these colonies uh, created before we forget. Uh, what did I say? This is Duranium, Neutronium, yeah, here on Ganymede. All right, uh, Corbamite. 
yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna have to set up a client here. Let's see. Uh, so Tritanium on Europa, Boronide. Um, we need this for terraforming. We have, like the accessibility isn't great, but we'll have some going on Europa, so so that's good. Uh, Mercassium, yeah. So obviously Venus has, the problem is the accessibility isn't great and it's not really worth it for this little amount of Duranium. Uh, so this is actually pretty garbage. Um, we're probably gonna have to set mines so to send mines to to Quayuar, but it's so far away. Ugh. All right, uh, Vendrite. We've got a nice comet deposit here. We'll gradually take a little bit off Ganymede. All right, that'll have to do for now. Uh, Sorium. Hmm. Fortunately, we have pretty big deposits on Earth. Uh, I am a bit concerned. Let me. S I'll see if we've looked at the gas giants yet. I guess we just don't have any sorium. That's a big problem. Uh, Iridium. Uh, okay, nothing. That's bad. Corundium, also nothing. Very bad. Uh, this is a big problem. Corundium. Uh, Gallocyte. Oh, we'll have on Titan. Okay, uh, we have like no corundium, guys. This is a big problem. And also no sorium. What's the deal with that? So Jupiter's got nothing. Saturn's got nothing. Oh, we haven't surveyed Uranus yet or Neptune. So we might still have something in our gas giants. Uh, we need to uh, get some freight going here, guys. Okay, cargo task group. Uh, you need to get to work. First things first. Okay, which uh, which of these plants are we going to go colonize first in terms of our settlers? I think it's... Okay, it's either going to be Ganymede or Europa. What's... Uh, What's their deal? Uh, Ganymede is uh, neutronium and vendorite. And I think Europa, yeah, Europa is more important because of the slight bit of boronite. So let's get Europa going. So, right, earth, load infrastructure, Europa, Unload infrastructure. Let's cycle that. We'll send the colony ship there in just a moment as well. Uh, while we're at it, let's. Uh, hang on, where's my ship here? Let's rename this with a few spaces in front. All right. I've got a troop transport. Uh, we'll rename this troop transport. Okay, uh, Earth. I'm pretty sure I got some. Dudes here, yeah. And go to Europa. And then head back to Earth. All right, we've explored the Vancouver system. Ooh! Uh, okay. We might have discovered aliens already. Um, well, actually, there was some fighting here, but nobody lives here. Uh, because, obviously, because there are no uh, habitable planets. But, uh, there is a wreck here. So that is spooky. Uh, and in fact, sort of in terms of role playing, I could imagine that we would, uh, seeing that wreck, we'd be interested in, in kind of maybe towing it back or, or salvaging it 
or something like that. So that's something maybe I might do a little detour in terms of tech. Um, Yeah. Yeah, we might do that. Um All right, the civilian sector is going to start helping us colonize the Jovian moons. Oh, we already finished building the missiles. Well, we're going to need more. Oh, and in fact, I actually, let's keep building. Uh, this is something I meant to do earlier and I forgot, so that's a problem. Let's uh, increase the capacity for these shipyards. And let's have them build more of these ships. Uh, which I should have been doing, but I forgot to. I got a message about some minerals. Where was that? Haumea. That's like really far out. Okay, it's just uranium and, and vendorite. Uh, not... Uh, not epic news. Oop, this is what I meant. All right. Let's get these as part of the survey task group. And then let's get the survey task group once again to divide it up. OK, uh, now. Okay, so let's uh, let's actually take a look at our galaxy map here. Let's get this set up. Uh, so let's go here. Let's try to do it in a geographically accurate way in so far as we can. Hang on. Why did that go orange? That was weird. Okay, uh, let's have... Uh, Put all up here and uh, I guess let's go like this. <laughs> um, let's line that up. All right, uh, and let's also get, uh, let's see, system body surveyed. That's what we want. Um, yeah. Uh, let's get uh, some. So we need to get surveys in Montreal and in Ottawa and also in Vancouver. So we just got a bunch of new guys. Okay, Halifax 6. All right, let's get you. I'm excited to see what's in uh, these, uh, what's in this nebula. And let's get, uh, so I send the six and the seven there. Let's send eight and nine to Ottawa. And then we'll send 10. We haven't yet gone through this jump point here uh, to, uh, 
Vancouver. All right, and then let's send the Iroquois again six and seven. Then let's get the eight and nine. Let's get the 10 in Toronto. And we're going to build more. Oh. Oh, there's only a couple systems. I forgot there was there. I we're seeing there were like a lot of asteroids. Uh, yeah, he's got nothing to do here. Sorry, buddy. Uh, you can go help in Vancouver. Yeah, there's only five systems to survey. We only need one. Uh, one system. Okay. We've discovered the Edmonton system. Uh, what's going on here? One terrestrial planet, and then a few planets out here. But this might be, it's not too far away. Well, it's not close, but all right. Uh, and this is where, oh, it's coming right out like that. So our geography is a little messed up. Uh, why don't we, here, Edmonton's pretty far north. Let's at least swap it like this. Uh, it is very quickly going to become impossible to make this geography, make this geometry match with the geography. Okay, we got some uh, tech done here. I wanted to think about getting a salvage module and designing a, a salvage ship because that would be fun because we found a wreck. Yeah, we didn't even have a spaceport here. That's pretty bad. Um, okay, we built, what's the tribal? I think that's our tug, right? Yeah, so actually this is, we built this guy a little too soon in the sense that we, um, I'm used to having, I guess a, bigger start with more of a um, industrial capacity. So I'd already be building a terraforming base. Right now we're nowhere close to that. So we didn't need this tug that early, but it's okay. Let's get some more freighters. Uh, we just built uh, some freighters. Let's get these guys. Uh, They're going to go find the cargo test group, and they're going to join. Done. What's... Uh, What's this carpo and what did we find there? Because the list here usually puts it in order of uh, like the, the significance of the deposit. So that would imply that there's some decent kind of find. Oh, I think we've got gas on Neptune, which is good. Good, we have something. Let's see. Okay, first of all, what is this carpo? Oh, that's weird. I must be placing a high value on it because of the accessibility. Uh, all right, we have some sorium. High accessibility, not a huge amount, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, it's prioritizing the uh, the accessibility. 
Um, have we surveyed Uranus? Yeah, nothing on Uranus. Okay, so we've got only, we've got only a little bit of uh, gas way out at Neptune. All right, are you done here? Oh, I meant to click on. Halifax 6. Okay, if you're done, you can head back and go to, I guess, Edmonton. All right, what did we find? Not much. Uh, I guess this is a little disappointing for a nebula. Uh, I mean, we got a lot of carbamite here, but this planet alone is not going to be easy to terraform. And... Uh, Hardly seems worth it. I guess at some point we'll send a uh, we'll send a geo survey team here. Maybe they can scrounge up some higher accessibility for these minerals. Then it might be a really interesting proposition. But as it is now, this uh, nebula is unfortunately a bit of a disappointment. Okay, we got our asteroid mining modules. Uh, what's the other basic tech that we needed here? Uh, yeah, we can, let's bring all this stuff up to the pre-10,000 research point level. Uh, so let's get uh, fuel and shipbuilding up. We'll queue this guy. After we... Uh, we got a bit of a, uh, I want to try to design that uh, salvage vessel. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, once we're done that, I think we'll try to get some, oh, I should get the pound propulsion guy researching something just to train him up a bit. Okay. Uh, I guess there's not much in the Vancouver system, is there? Okay. Head out to uh, Edmonton. Is there anything in here? Oh, we haven't. Well, the asteroids are pretty empty. They're completely empty. So we've only got this planet here that we're still hoping to survey. Um, yeah, before I forget, let's... Uh, pound propulsion. Let's just get this guy to work. Uh, we want to... get going on the next engine tech soon. Oh, now he can get all these laps done. Okay, let's, uh, well, no, let's, let's keep this split going. That's fine. We'll wrap this special project up soon. Aha, another jump point in the Ottawa system. Uh, let's send one Iroquois. Where is it, though? Uh, is it like really, oh, it's really close and by. Okay, let's send you there. All right, more survey vessels. Uh, let's, let's take a look here. All right, we got... Uh, what is in Edmonton? Not much to survey. All right, let's... Uh, I think that'll be enough survey ships for now. Let's... Oh, this is what I meant. Our wealth is uh, struggling a little bit. We need to get more colonies going, I think. All right, let's get all these guys once again. into the survey test group. Let's get the survey test group. Divide it up. All right, let's get these guys working. I'm just going to pull this up on, on another screen here. Uh, 
we need to survey everywhere. So let's get 11. Here, we'll have you go to... Uh, have three of you head there. Let's have uh, you guys help out in the nebula, because that's a bit trickier. And sometimes the nebulas can extend. Uh, I know I haven't assigned the, the, the new geosurvey vessels. We'll, there's not much to geosurvey yet. So we'll wait. Ah, new jump point in Ottawa. Let's get you to transit through there. All right, you built a new leader. Let's keep increasing our naval capacity. Oh, I uh, didn't tell these guys to ever refuel, did I? Uh, let's load the infrastructure and let's add a little detail here. Refuel from colony. They'll be fine. They'll make it home in time. We're done the geo survey here. Let's head back and let's head out through Ottawa because there's a lot of we've discovered a lot of jump points there. It's likely we'll well, there's a lot of jump points here. Okay, this is turning into quite a little hub. Aha, new jump point in the Edmonton system. We built more freighters. Let's keep going. Always need more freighters. Let's assign our existing guys to the cargo task group. Also, you should go join the battle task group. Halifax 1. Oh, you're actually in the solar system. How are we doing in terms of the survey here of the solar system? In terms of these uh, outliers, not bad. Only a handful of uh, the usual suspects. How are you doing in terms of fuel and capacity? Why don't you, wait, let's have you head back, refuel, resupply, overhaul. Let's send uh, some of these new guys way out. So you're gonna be Geo. Let's send you out to here, Comets. 
we still have to do Hillbop. Let's get you to McNaught Russell. Now, you don't have to do this, but it bugs me that it never gets done. And Brooks. Then we also need Sedna and Eris. Uh, these are... I forget if they're classified as asteroids or... Like... Or protoplanets. Ah, exclude surveyed. There we go. You can move there. And you... And move there. Okay, uh, we finished the salvage module. Let's, uh, okay, first of all, we also got a, a uh, new naval shipyard. This one is going to be for our uh, collier, so we need to expand its uh, capacity. Now, let's see what a uh, salvage ship would look like. So, a salvager... Salvager. Salvager needs to have, uh, I guess, refresh. Salvage module. Okay, that's actually a pretty big um, component. I didn't remember how big it was. Um, and we need to have... Well, it either needs to have its own cargo space, but we could just send it along with a freighter. So why don't we design it? Hmm. Hey, Cooks. Uh, this is Aurora 4X. Uh, it is a 4X uh, strategy game. Uh, has a bit of a sandbox feel to it. Very in-depth simulation. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, do we... So I'm designing a ship now. A salvaging ship. Uh, I'm deciding how big I want to make it. We could go... We can give it another salvager module. Shouldn't be too hard to build. Uh, we're going to need to give it a bit more fuel so we can oh hmm so we won't have uh... now that I think about it this is a terrible idea because uh, we need like often we're gonna want to salvage stuff that we need to jump to so I think this ship would probably need to have be more of an independent design Maybe it has a commercial jump drive. Maybe it has a bit of its own cargo space and a salvager module. Okay, so let's rethink this design. Um, 
one salvager. If we had a standard cargo hold, about a 50,000, but then we need to get the fuel capacity way up. Does this make any sense as a design? Oh, but I still need to add the actual jump drive. Oh, this is getting pretty big. Uh, in order to jump, this is a pretty unwieldy design. Um, hmm. What's how big would a jump engine have to be here? Let's see, it's designed to jump because I don't have great tech for this. Um, all right, if we want to jump 50,000 tons, we need. 1350 engine. I'm not crazy about this design. Now we could make it, we could just not have a full size cargo hold. How about that? Uh, like, what if we do small cargo hold? Yeah. What about that? Can we... How much does it take to jump 40,000 tons? Uh, not quite... All right, 11,000 ton jump drive, I could jump 41,000 tons, right? Um, I need to shed, oh, I could just lose an engine here. Because that ship is plenty fast. Okay, this, this can work. Uh, let's prototype this design. We'll, uh, oh, we happen to have our research. Oh, of course, we just finished that research. Let's uh, research that jump drive. Didn't I just, what did I click? I, was, I meant to cancel something, and I must have said something. I don't know what I just did. All right. Go research. All right, we'll add some research to this. Okay, April 53. Uh, all right, four months. And he's going to need a shipyard. Fortunately, we're building a few commercial shipyards right now, so we'll be we'll have a new one soon enough for him. Okay, that's a fun little kind of side project. Uh, that's getting built. Aha, we did find a jump point. Let's go see what's on the other side. All right, Halifax 3, you say you're done. I believe you. Why don't you just head back and uh, get a little tune-up before we send you out once again. All right. Found another system. What do we have here in Calgary? Um, now, sometimes there can be methane-breathing aliens. Uh... So it's a possibility. Now, where is that one attached? 
uh, ah, that's attached to Ottawa. I'll show you here. It's right here, branching off. Maintenance problems. Nothing to worry about. All right, we got Quebec. Again, branching off of the Ottawa system. Oh, ah, there we go. Ooh, this is nice. A little hot. Um, looks like they had a bit of runaway greenhouse <laughs> gas emissions. We could uh, add some more oxygen, take out some carbon dioxide. This could be a really nice planet. Uh, how far is it from... Yeah, that's okay. All right, cool. That's a nice one. Let's uh, place that one over here. To the east, although all these, this map is completely arbitrary, but uh, aha, and we also found Winnipeg. These are all coming off of Ottawa, by the way. All right. Oh, this is promising. Wow, okay, so we've got, this is a funky system. Okay, so we have, what do we have? We got four stars. There's Winnipeg A, then there's Winnipeg B. Winnipeg B orbits Winnipeg A. And then Winnipeg C orbits Winnipeg D. So there's like a little binary. Where is, so here's Winnipeg A. Winnipeg D is just its own star orbiting Winnipeg A, just chilling, having a good time. And then out here, we've got Winnipeg B, which is orbiting Winnipeg A farther out, but it's got its own, it's a binary because it's got Winnipeg C, but there's nothing around Winnipeg C. So this is like a quaternary system. All right. Uh, with a lot of promising planets here, a lot of asteroids. This is going to be really interesting. I bet you this is all. <laughs> I bet you this is all aliens. Okay, uh, this is going to be a really cool system. Let's uh, all right. Let's rearrange our map here. So let's uh, refresh this. How do we want to position these guys? I mean, honestly, this is fine. It's just weird that Winnipeg is down here, but. Uh, Guys, I'm limited by the extent to which I can simulate sort of the real geography here. I think we're just going to have to live with that. <laughs> the Deep South. Winnipeg in the Deep South. Uh, so we'll just have to live with that. Okay, that's a cool system. Another jump point. All right, we've got another McKinsey class. Let's keep production going. Let's have him join here, the Atlanta. Let's have you join the training fleet. By the way, how is the training fleet doing? Oh, the maintenance clock is, uh, yeah, they're due for, I think, some, uh, I'll actually send them back to overhaul once, yeah, there we go. Let's actually send them back. Uh, stop training. Let's get you guys back home. Refuel, resupply. Begin overhaul. So when you put a tanker, uh, it just spends all the fuel from the tanker instead of spending the fuel from the ships when you do training. So that is pretty convenient. Uh, how are we doing, by the way, on fuel? We're doing fine. Yes, I know you can't overhaul. Huh. 
Okay, we got an anomaly here. Now it's on this planet. Uh, all right. We in order to see what it is, we gotta we gotta add it as a colony. Let's do that. Uh, just to see what the anomaly is. So we could go do some weird biologic and genetic research here with a huge boost but this is a crappy planet with no minerals and it's not going to be terraformed uh, so unless I find amazing minerals on these moons here uh, we're probably not going to colonize the system for a long time and I'll just abandon that that colony All right, Saskatoon. This was coming off of the Edmonton system. What do we have? Three stars. Oh, there's some nice stuff around Saskatoon B. What, what are the distances like here? It's a little far. Still. Oh, let's uh, head it to our map here. Saskatoon is kind of to the east here. All right. Got a new lab. got nothing to do okay we finished we sent all the infrastructure out to Europa um, so that will slowly grow uh, next job for you guys well first of all this reminds me I think we'll want to queue up another round of infrastructure for another colony I think we'll do the other moon. I think we'll do Ganymede. And in the meantime, so let's actually get this going before the next uh, two commercial shipyards. And let's... How are we doing on the mining here? Honestly, it's I have some automated mines, but uh, the accessibility of the Duranium here is still one, which is better than what I'm going to get on Mercury, which is why I want to send these automated mines. So we'll wait. I was going to send the automated mines right now, but there's no point. No point yet. So the freighters can just chill for a bit. Another jump point. I'm really curious uh, once these uh, ships test these uh, jump points uh, because uh, out of the Montreal system because uh, nebulas can spread over can be spread over many different uh, sectors and uh, I was disappointed in the mineral results here but we could find uh, something nice deeper in okay so this Colossus class salvager was missing uh, their commercial jump drive. Oh, <laughs> just a tiny bit too big. Uh, we can we don't need that much fuel. There you go. That's a nice little design. Good. 
All right, let's get you back on Real Engine Technology. All right, you were trying to, ah, yes, okay. Um, well, I got a lot of work for you. Huh? There you are. So you're way up here. I guess you might as well go to Saskatoon, which is nearby. All right, you finished this. You're gonna head down. Actually, it took you forever to get that done, so you're gonna go ahead and refuel and overhaul before you head out anywhere else. Because that's a it takes a really long time to get all the way out here. All right, uh, we built a ton more missiles. I think we're. I'm gonna sit on this stockpile of missiles for now. We got 2,000 built. Um, we haven't run into hostile aliens yet. It's possible that by the time we do, I'll be on my next generation of engines and missiles anyways. So let's not waste any more minerals uh, building those. Oh, I already had a guy going there. That's bad. All right, let's get you somewhere useful. So we need you to go down south to Ottawa, then turn right to Winnipeg. Okay, we finished the survey in Montreal. All right, so we found something out of Montreal, but it is not, the nebula does not continue in this system. Although this is a potentially interesting system with these planets, we'll have to see. So we've got Lethbridge. Um, okay, we built another Hestigush. And let's have it join oh that's actually not what I'm well whatever didn't need to separate it because the other guys are, are already in orbit could have just transferred it directly oh actually this is yeah, let's take a look at this. Oh, we got a big slow turn. Sounds to me like we just found some aliens. Or it's just a massive system with a ton of asteroids. Yeah, that could be it. <laughs> All right, first, let me just go back to Lethbridge here. I want to measure something. Yeah, so we've got like the inner system here. This is really, this is like Mars orbit kind of distance. And then it's a binary, and the other star is like 150 billion kilometers away. So like Neptune is like five to six billion kilometers away. So this is absolutely massive. Uh, fortunately, there's nothing out there, so we never have a reason to, to ever go there. <laughs> uh, but still. All right, now we just found this system, Regina system. So this took a long time to load up. There are a lot of nice planets here. Um, yeah, I kind it took a while to load this up. I I have a sneaking suspicion we might find some aliens here on one of these planets. We'll see. Uh, now this is another system where we have uh, a binary, but the binary is like way out there and doesn't seem to 
affect much. Okay, and we've also discovered this system, the Thunder Bay. Wow, a lot of really interesting planets out here. So let's bring our map back. Uh, let's refresh. So we found... Let's uh, adjust these. So actually, let's, there's no reason this should be... Uh, yeah, I kind of don't have a choice. I got to stretch this. Or do I? We can always play with all of these positions later. Okay, a lot of interesting systems here. With a lot of potential colony planets. All right, Alphax 12, you finished your job. We're gonna send you down to Winnipeg. And we built some more freighters. Let's, um, let's keep going. All right, fleet overhaul is complete. Uh, we're starting to get some task force, some decent task force training. We're up to like 20% on the original ships getting there. I should build a few more tankers. Uh, if we ever do need to deploy them, we need a ton of fuel to move these super fuel and efficient military ships out. Let me queue those up. I haven't been... Oh, I don't even have a shipyard for them. Ha. Huh. Well then. All right, let's bring up the map here. So he's done in Edmonton. Let's refresh. Um, Edmonton's done. We can go up to Saskatoon, yeah. Oh, except looks like we're mostly done here in Saskatoon. So forget about that. Jump point in Calgary. Aha. We did find aliens. All right. 
ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so we found uh, our first alien species in the Thunder Bay system. Let's bring this up. Uh, let's refresh this. So in here, we found aliens. Now, uh, I don't have any kind of actual active or for that matter passive sensors on this ship. Um, and based on and based on the fact that we're at exactly the same location, I'm sure that this is a grav survey vessel that they have. Um, now their thermal signature is 109. What's my engine's thermal signature? on the Iroquois. My thermal signature is 12, so their ship is like way faster, which, but you know, my, my engine is tuned way down and also it's a tiny ship. So they probably have a much larger, much, fast, much faster moving geo survey ship, but it's possible they have like way better engine tech, which is kind of scary. Um, So we know almost nothing about them. I mean, we know this is probably their, their geo survey ship. Uh, we don't know how big it is. We only have the thermal signature. Um, however, so far they do not appear to be particularly uh, hostile. Uh, so we'll try to have friendly relations. Let's assign a diplomatic team on Earth. In, in this version of the game, and when I say that, I mean as opposed to the upcoming version, uh, you can kind of make your teams anywhere, and uh, they can kind of do whatever from from home. Oh, uh, I kind of need another guy. What what is she assigned to? Oh, uh, well, she's not, they're not doing anything important. They're in like the. Okay, he's on a survey ship. You're fine. You're good to go. You're good to go. You can stay on your ship. You're good to go. And you're good to go. You guys are going to be our crack diplomatic team. The Victoria Walker diplomatic team. All right, we're gonna sign it. To the Thunder Bay aliens. We need to give them a better name here. Uh, we're going to call them All right, we discovered them in Thunder Bay. We can call them the What's a good adjective? I mean, with thunder. Well, okay. What's a, hang on, What's a picture that they gave him? Yeah. Um, all right. I've decided. They're purple. They're going to be the purple people eaters. I mean, hopefully they don't actually eat people. They might consider that like a derogatory term. Also, hopefully they don't just like, <laughs> they don't just blow us up because we get too close to their colony. Uh, all right, new jump point in the Lethbridge system. Go, take, go check it out. All right, so they actually moved with their engine, it seems. Oh, we found a whole bunch of thermal contacts. All right, this guy. So they've got 
uh, strength 252 resolution one. So this is a missile sensor. So they can detect missiles out to 2.5 kilometers on that ship. So that is a military ship. Um, but it was only moving at like 1800 kilometers per second, which is kind of slow. So that's a weird combination. All right, we built a shipyard. I was going to make this uh, shipyard. I was thinking maybe doing the salvage ship, but actually I think we need to make this the tanker. Because if we actually need to move my uh, ship around, my fleet around, we're going to need a lot more fuel support. Now, that being said, my fleet can't jump. Uh, this is another uh, problem that we have. Um, we need to get a, a military jump tender. God, in fact, that's pretty important. Let's get, we have to do that right now. Um... Yeah. All right. Jump tender. This guy's got to have a ton of endurance. Now he needs to be about 10,000 tons, right? Because that's what the collier is. The majestic. I like it. Oh, there's nine nine ninety nine. All right, we need to get a military jump drive prototype here. All right, you need to be able to jump this much. So two thousand tons is going to be the jump drive. Let's just go ahead and uh, get that design and then we'll build the ship around it. That means we're going to need another shipyard. You know, we need we need more research labs. We need a lot of things. We don't we don't have a lot of our industrial capacity is pretty pretty weak here. All right, let's get, oh, we have so many things we need. Mm. All right, let's just add it to the list. Because, uh, I mean, we need, yeah, we need all these things. Um. But I mean, yeah, that's important. That'll allow us to project power outside of our system, but we're gonna run into some economic trouble soon because we're not making enough wealth. So we need to get colonies up and going so that we get some trading happening. All right, oh, you finished serving Brooks. That's awful nice of you. Why don't you head where? Where are you going to go? We can go to, we can go down south somewhere here. Let's go to Quebec. Oh, okay, two alien species. <laughs> all right, guys, this is getting really exciting. Uh, all right, we got Regina. We got aliens in Regina, too. So I suspected there were aliens in the system, but apparently these are different aliens. Um, oh, 
Okay, so, all right. First of all, the aliens that we met first, we have been communicating with them. And we're now kind of more friendly than we are unfriendly. And so we actually know what their real name is. They are not the Purple People Eaters. They are the Maladar Association. So we'll, we'll change this to M.A. Um, and we have their, you know, whatever. This is what we know about them. Now, they're new aliens that we just discovered in Regina. Uh, they do not seem to be particularly hostile either. So we should try to be friends with them too, right? Um, let's... Uh, can we make another diplomatic team? Yeah, we just have... We have five guys. Oh, but he's the planetary governor of what? Oh no, he's not. He's not the plant taker. He's what is he doing? What are you doing with your life? Oh, you're on board the Iroquois. Uh, you might get reassigned. He's also on the Iroquois. He's on the Halifax. He's on saying, you know what? Sorry guys, we need you. Actually, you know what I need? We need a. Uh... All right, this diplomatic team is not as good which is unfortunate. Uh, we need more military academies. God, we need so much stuff. Um, here we go. All right, no, we want the Regina Aliens. This is a terrible name. The... Uh, well, they're just bugs, right? All right, we're going to discover their... You know, we're going to discover their real names, soon. we don't need to rename them right now. Let's just uh, have our diplomatic team start working here. And let's see what we've discovered about them. I don't think we know much. Yeah, we just saw one ship which honestly is probably another geo survey, another uh, grav survey ship, because we just ran into each other at the uh, JP survey node. And we lost them, but it's describing them as hostile all of a sudden. Oh, it's just because technically we haven't crossed into the neutral threshold. All right, we discovered a new system connected to Lethbridge, Timmins, uh, and uh, there are got to be aliens here. <laughs> For sure, there are aliens here. All right. These systems are probably connected in some way down here that I don't know yet. Um, line up.
Aha. We have made contact. They call themselves the ABBA Imperium. So let's rename them as such. All right, so so far we've discovered two NPR races, um, and the game hasn't completely melted yet, which is good. Although, as you can tell, it is slowing down a lot. Um, I might uh, switch to automatic detection for those guys. because uh, we don't want it to grind completely to a halt. But we'll let it play out for a little bit. Okay, we had a slipway to what? Stone repairs. Oh, to the Mackenzie's factory. Scientist. All right, the aircraft four. Where are we? We're in Toronto. He's done there. All right, you can push out to Vancouver, I guess. Freighters, uh, we are actually the freighters are going to start uh, shipping infrastructure, but I'm going to wait till I have a bit more. Actually, we can no, we could do one round right now. We should uh, get that colony growing sooner rather than later. So let's uh, military, uh, not military shipyards is what I meant to say. All right, task groups, shipyards to cargo, get in there, cargo, earth, load infrastructure, Ganymede, unload infrastructure, do that a couple of times, we won't get to do it too many times because we don't have that much infrastructure, oh I should have a refuel order in there. I'll add it soon. All right, let's add it now. After, head back to Earth and refuel. Okay, overhaul of Halifax 1. Oh, you're ready to head out again. Um... We want a geo survey, like uh, maybe something down here. I think. Actually, let's see what's uh, what's the order of battle here. We've got one Iroquois, Iroquois, Iroquois. I guess they're all heading out to these places. So let's uh, have you go to Calgary. I guess. Alright, we officially finished the grav survey. 
in the Toronto system. Let's head out to Vancouver. Uh, the Halifax 3 was done its overhaul. Let's get you out to uh, one of these systems down there. And we finished our construction and production research. I think we're good on this for now. All right, what else are we, do we need? What do we need to grab here? So this will be much later. Um, we don't need anything here right now. Uh, do we need something in logistics? I mean, it'd be nice to have the larger fuel. All right, we're going to make a pit stop here. We're going to grab that. Um, but that's pretty much it. Afterwards, I think we're just going to go sensors and uh, and weapons tech for a bit. Our sensors are so bad. New McKenzie class, have him join the training group. Queue up another one. I'm a bit limited by the uh, the fact that my propulsion scientist can only run five labs at a time, so it's taking him forever to get to the next kind of engine tech. Uh, but uh, so that gives me an opportunity to um, to sort of flesh out. Uh, in terms of breadth, the rest of my uh, tech tree. All right, I think... How do you know I'm in Wells? I think we got enough of these guys. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. I've got two, that's the third one. I should make a fourth one so that each so that later if I decide to you know have two active task groups they could each have two of these guys so they can have the redundant capability because these are the only ships with the massive with the actual sensors all right how's that survey coming along in Saskatoon. Looks like we're done. Did we find anything nice? I mean, the quantities are a little underwhelming here. Yeah, a little disappointing.
All right, this was where? Oh, this was at here. All right, I guess I'll ship him back down south. Why don't you do my, You can make a pit stop in the solar system. And uh, refuel and overhaul. And by the time you're done there, I'll have a better idea. Because maybe we'll find more jump points heading up north in this direction. And we'll want to. Uh, and we'll want to turn around, actually. What's going on here? Oh, he's been working for a long time. Let's get you home. Ah, I've been meaning to just get these orders. I'm going to save this as a... Because uh, I click this a lot, so we can just have it saved. Oh, it looks like actually more than just a handful of people. Well, literally more than a handful in that it currently shows seven people watching. Amazing. Um, welcome, everybody. I'm glad you're... Uh... Oh, no, just as I said that, it goes down to six. <laughs> Progressor says Dominion's in space. Um, yeah, kind of. Um, I mean, it's not multiplayer. Uh, but, and it's sort of, it's more of a sandbox type of game, uh, but it's, uh, got a lot of that depth and that complicated, uh, just all that, a lot of aspects of it are, are, are quite nice and intricate, so it's, it's quite a fun game. Uh, John Boat Builders. Aha, they were building my missile cruisers. Let's uh, let's queue up another slipway, queue up another ship. Yeah, Dominions is is sort of like a, is kind of yeah, well both depth and complexity. Yeah, you said Dwarf Fortress is a really good uh, example. This is kind of like Space Dwarf Fortress. Um, new jump point in Timmins. Um, except Dwarf Fortress is, um, you're managing individuals, right? Whereas here, it's more of the the 4x feel to it right so your you've got resources that you have to that you're managing and you create um i mean you have there are people obviously there are governors right but you're you're building ships but all the design of the ships is really intricate and that that's completely customizable by you um And there is more of an element of uh, sort of military conquest or, or defense <laughs> in some cases. It's not you doing the conquering. Um, which, you know, Dwarf Fortress, you defend against people coming at you, but it's more about like, yeah, the emphasis, you know, the game is... is putting an emphasis on it's slightly different but in terms of that level of like ridiculous detail yeah there's kind of there's definitely an element to that excuse me an element of that in this game
Ah, so it looks like somebody has stabilized this jump gate. These are probably going to be the local aliens. So you know what? We're going to not have you go through this jump gate yet. That might provoke... Like if it's their homeworld on the other side. I mean, this might be their home system. I don't know. But uh, no reason to provoke them for no reason. So far, we've met two alien species. And they did not appear hostile. So we'll try to keep maintain peaceful relations as long as we can. Although part of the fun of this game is actually trying to go and conquer them. This is what our exploration of the galaxy looks like so far. This map is completely arbitrary. You can place the systems wherever you want. Um, we just finished... We were just... This is in Edmonton, right? Yeah. Uh, let's get you up to Saskatoon. And there's actually a really interesting, in this particular playthrough, it turns out the two aliens that I've found so far are on the other side of a nebula system. And the nebula has a, a lot of interesting properties. It slows down ships, and it makes some kind of, like, of weapons like missiles completely ineffective. So if there was a war, like that could be a really interesting way to steer like our, you know, specialized weapons could, could really come into play there. That could be interesting to explore. Okay, um, we're slowly working on this. This is taking forever. Uh, let's get started on, like I said, we needed to work on our sensor tech. It was so oh, we don't have a sensor guy. No, that's why our sensor tech is so bad. Um, okay, well, we'll compensate with better guns. Uh, all right, a lot of guns here. We need to choose what we're going to do. Um... What do I want to do here? So, I guess I should talk, tell you guys. So, uh, these are the energy weapons. Um, they're, so, lasers are kind of average, but they're pretty good, but they kind of do everything. Um, uh, particle beams are long range are the longest range weapon and their damage doesn't fall off at long range so if you can if you have better engines and you can keep the enemy at max range and your range is bigger than theirs then this is an amazing weapon but it really depends on uh, engines uh, carronade is a short range kind of shotgun and in most situations it's not very good um, microwaves are kind of like uh, they disable they fry the enemies um, fire control systems and other electronic components and they allow you to disable a ship uh, so that you could then perhaps board it with marines if you wanted to do that. Masons are pretty short range but importantly they penetrate shields and armor. Uh, they are very very good um, especially on fighters for example. They can also kind of do point defense. Lasers can do everything. You can make big lasers that shoot far. You can have little lasers for point defense, so they're pretty versatile. Um, in all cases, to make energy weapons work, you have to have faster engines than the opponent. Otherwise, they can just run away from you. Um, I think I'm going to... Um, how good do I think my engines are going to be? Um, thing is, you can never go wrong with lasers, right? <laughs> um, yeah, it's really tempting. Um, you know what? Let's do something I don't usually do. Let's do like... A, I was thinking, like, we do microwaves. Um, disable ships. Uh, but then I'd have to go and invest in all the boarding marines and stuff. That's a lot of... I mean, I do want to do that, but maybe later. All right, all right. Um, well, one thing, I do want to... All right, let's do spinal... All right, let's think of a ship design here. So right now, we've got 
a missile cruiser. And we've got sort of a point defense. Oh, they're also, by the way, they're two other kind of, they're not energy weapons, but they're basically guns. You have rail guns and you got Gauss cannons. Gauss are very short range, good for PD. Rail guns are actually not bad for PD. They shoot many shots per round. They're great at taking out shields. Um, they're, they're pretty good in general. So there are two more weapons like that. Let's go... All right, we're gonna... We're gonna mix some things here. We're gonna get some... Uh, we're gonna do microwaves. This is a funky... This is an unusual choice. We're gonna do it. We're gonna try some special tactics here. Freighters. Let's have them join the cargo task group, which is honestly probably done most of its work. Oh, uh, yeah. So the microwave weapon, the high power microwave, they don't actually do damage. All they do is uh, destroy shields and electronic components. Oh. Uh, what happened? We detected an energy weapon impact but we don't have any ship near there. So somebody's fighting something, <laughs> uh, which is interesting. I guess it's good for me. Um, yeah, I have no, it's weird that I can detect it, um, I think the game is just kind of programmed like that. I don't have any sensor coverage at all over there. So we're seeing... So this uh, energy weapon impacts strength one. So one damage this is probably point defense and it's shooting down missiles, but some missiles are getting through. Hmm. Yeah. Somebody's shooting at somebody. You know, we should really design a little kind of scout fighter or something. Um, let's see if we can't. We need a jump. We need a jump drive for it. We need a tiny. Let's see if we can put something together. Uh, like. We'd need what? We need a tiny jump engine, like really small. Uh, yeah, let's make a 500 ton fighter. It'll need to be big enough to actually have a reasonable sensor on it. I think then we make a tiny engine. Maybe it's a really, maybe it's a slow, like it's just a, it's really slow. Uh, and it's just going to go out there. So a tiny engine, very fuel efficient. It'll last forever. Um, and it just kind of stays out there and listens. I like it. Okay. Uh, cause I, I want to know what's going on in that system. Uh, let's cancel this for now. Let's cancel both. Uh, no, don't cancel. Cancel this guy. 
Yeah, this is for my drum tender. I know. We'll we'll get to you in a second. But these are these are very quick. Do these first, then you can get back to your big old drum drive. I will need to design a sensor too, but I'll wait until I know the exact uh, size. Now this is I'm clicking five day increments, but it's actually just moving a few seconds until the next missile hits, and then it automatically pauses. All right, there's a wreck. Okay, so this is a this is a large ship that just got blown up. But what was that large ship doing out there? Because it's almost wait, do we have asteroids here? Hang on. Display. Nope. So why was there a 70,000 ton ship out here? Because 70,000 ton yeah, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, oh, refueling could not be completed. Really? No. Huh, that's weird. Yeah, this is weird. So if it's a civilian ship, it could be that there's another jump point here and that they were transiting or they were going somewhere. Right, so that, that would be one explanation. Because a 70,000 ton military vessel is uh, absolutely ginormous. Okay, we've uh, researched those two engines. There's going to be a Antikos C. This is going to be like a a jump scout, I think. So you're going to be tiny. Oh, I might need some logistics for a smaller engineering space. Uh, we'll see about that in a second. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I didn't mean to click that. Uh, and yeah, we don't need that much fuel storage. OK. Um, This is <laughs> like the whole ship is an engineering bay. No, we're not going to do that. Uh, let's. Um, all right, we actually need to get that research done then right now, so I know the, so I can get a better feel for the size of this thing. Uh, engineering small. Let's get that done. Uh, but realistically. Uh, so actually, I forget. Wait, I can look this up. So engineering space. The size is one, right? And how big are the tiny ones? I'm just going to look this up on the wiki. Okay, the basic is 1, small is 0 0.5, tiny is 0.25. So I could be flexible with that, but at most I'm going to gain like a, in the tens of tons. So I've got like uh, about 250 tons. Uh, to play with in terms of sensor size, I think. So let's go ahead and build that design a sensor. Now, my sensors are such garbage. Um, I think these are going to be passive sensors, but let's just see. Uh, if I want to detect, you know, largish ships with uh, 250 tons, With an active sensor here at this size of ship, I could detect at 31 million kilometers. What if we just had an EM sensor? Hmm. 
Hmm. Or just a passive thermal sensor. Honestly, we could do both. Like we can send them in pairs. Passive thermal sensor. Because the idea here is to get information. These are these are also going to be pretty hard to detect. They're going to have a very small thermal signature. Uh, yeah, I like this idea. Let's get some sort of stealth scout fighters going. Because I want to know what happened there. Alright, this is... This guy's due for vacation. All right, we officially finished the survey of Edmonton. Let's um, see if Saskatoon might, like that whole branch might be a dead end. Which would be disappointing, but we have some promising leads in, in other directions. All right, we built another missile cruiser. We're teetering on the edge here in terms of our mineral <laughs> production. Of, uh, so let's, we're cutting it close. Uh, let's get another one done. Uh, and let's assign you to battle task group. Did I send a garrison battalion to my second colony on Ganymede? I think I might not have. Let's go check. I did not. So, troop transport. Earth. Pick up one of these garrison battalions and head to Ganymede, unload all ground units, head back to Earth. Oh, not extended orbit. Just move to. I'm going to take a look at my at the diplomacy status in the next update. Okay, this ship, um, all right, it's a uh, sensor broken. It couldn't repair it. It was, ran out of spare parts, but it was heading back home to to re um, to resupply anyways. So we're fine. Okay, we're gradually improving our relations with the ABBA Imperium and the Malador Association as well. So that's nice.
Okay. We need to have those garrisons uh, to reduce unrest. Now, typically in an early game, if you're not, if you don't have any kind of navy early on, you get unrest because they don't, they want military protection. So that's not an issue. But that's also only an issue once the colony is over 10 million, which is still not the case for us. Um, uh oh, we're in depth, folks. Uh, how bad is the financial situation here? Let's take a look. We need to, I think we need to slow down some ship production. If you would let me. All right. Um, it's not too bad. Okay, let's, uh, let's pause these guys. Here. Pause this. Pause this. Uh, I need the tanker. We can pause. Oh, that guy's almost done. But let's pause these missile cruisers. Actually, let's pause all of these. Just the tanker. Now, I just finished... This was for my... Oh, yeah, this was for my uh, salvage, which I think was the Majestic? No. Oh, no, it was for this guy. The military jump tender. Yeah, I was waiting to design this. Uh, let's do that now. Jump tender. Yeah. And then all you need is like some commercial engines to get there. Wait a minute. I made a mistake somewhere. I just realized. All right. Are we looking? I think I signed. There was a, a design that was supposed to be like a civilian design. And uh, was supposed to use 160 engine power engines, but instead I gave it the military engines because it's 168 and it'd be easy to mix those two up. No, I didn't. Okay. Just a little panic moment. Uh, so this guy does not need to go fast. He just needs to get there sort of someday in a sort of fuel efficient manner. Now he actually needs to be 10,000 tons, otherwise he can't jump anything else that's 10,000 tons. So what else are we gonna give him? We're gonna give him uh, engineering spaces so he can stay out. Oh, the, what? So the military, even though he's carrying a military jump drive, Wait, I need to confirm this. I'm not sure. All right. Um, yeah, I mean... I guess so. We'll have to, I mean, this might, <laughs> might get screwed. So this means, huh. Well, all right then. Um, I thought that having a military jump drive would automatically make the ship military, but it doesn't. So that's nice. Uh, in that case, what are we gonna, what else are we gonna put on here? Cause we need to bring it up to 10,000 tons. Um, I mean, uh, 
I mean, it'll be mostly a tender. It just mostly it's going to stay put and like not move for long periods of time. In fact, let's uh, just role play that in there. Um, well, let's give it a whole bunch of fuel so it can kind of act as an emergency uh, refuel station. And I'll give it like two engines. No, just one engine. One engine is going to be enough. Uh, fuel. Here, maybe we'll turn down this. Yeah. A little commercial vessel. It can stay parked out at, you know, a gate for a very long time without complaining. It just lets military ships pass through. And in an emergency, it can be used as a tanker. And as a, uh, like, to go tow a damaged ship. Uh, because, now, it's going to tow it really slowly. So, I kind of, that's kind of why I wanted to maybe have another another engine here. How much fuel would that cost me? Most of the fuel. All right, forget it. Just one engine. I mean, it'll, look, the towing capacity. The engine is not very powerful, okay? It's not going to be able to tow much, but it's better than nothing. Uh, so, yeah, I like this. This is a lot. I thought, I'm happy with this. I thought this was going to have to be a naval ship. We'll have to test it. I'm not convinced. This I still might be wrong about this, but according to everything I'm reading, we should be good to go with this design. So that's nice. Uh, now, about this uh, financial situation, let's, uh, let's take a little detour here. Let's see how long it would take uh, if I turn this down. It's currently the 14th of November, 2054. It would take a year to boost uh, just my civilian economy. Uh, I Let's see if we can get away with, I'd like to kind of get this little project done first. Okay, let's just cancel it. Uh, can we get this little uh, thing done faster? I think we can. I mean, we'll start here. We'll start working on this in the background. We got one extra lab. We got 21 labs total. Um, let's get my little stealth fighter thing going. Also, I'm curious to see. Oh, I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done auto turns. I want to see how, in pausing my shipbuilding, how much that affected my net wealth balance. I'm just going to keep playing. All right, uh, let's take a look. Yeah, so we we're back in the positives now. Okay, we found. Okay, another jump point, but this one's been stabilized, uh, probably by the aliens who live here. Keep saying refueling could not be completed. I must have some wrong orders here. I must have. I sh oh no 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 I know, no it's not that, huh? Some task force is trying to refuel. But can't. But there's no reason anybody shouldn't be able to refuel at Earth because there's plenty of fuel there. <sighs> so. 
so I'm really not sure what's going on. Um, it's weird. Let's bring this task group in for as a test. Refuel, resupply. Oh, I should have just had a principle. Let's test this. Okay, we got our small engineering section. Now we don't have sensor guys, unfortunately, but uh, we'll build these. Uh, we'll just have a uh, this uh, logistics guy do the research for us because he can use he or she he can use a bunch of labs at the same time. We'll get that research done quickly. Yes, I know. You tell me every time. All right. And actually, I'm going to I think I'm going to wind things down here. I'm going to let's see if we can get uh I want to finish one of those sensors and ah finally we've got a civilian mine colony so that's going to be uh, another source of uh, income for us now they went to how maya yeah that's expected with some duranium uh, so we'll get some tax income for this if we are rich we can buy the minerals if we're if you know if we're running really low on uranium, for example. All right. Uh, so I think. Oh no, <laughs> we're back in the negative. Uh, oh, I should have paused this stuff too. Let's pause. Pause. We actually don't need this right now. I should have paused all this stuff that we didn't need. Okay. Um, but what I actually wanted to do, we'll do this before we... Uh, before I finish here. Let's, uh, let's see what this scout would look like. So I finished one of the sensors. Here, an EM sensor. Okay, 550. Yeah, we just need to tune it a little bit. Uh... Oh, and we need a small engineering space. Okay, let's take some of this fuel. Oh, this is actually not quite, this might be too big. Yeah. All right, the sensor's too big. Because it takes too much crew to run it, which just boosts all the requirements for everything else. Um, Okay, that's good to know. So we need to redesign. We need to make this sensor only 200 tons instead of 250. And then I think I can fit everything into a uh, 500 ton fighter. I didn't forget anything here, right? We're... Yeah. All right, so that's what I know to do for next time. So we're going to wrap it up. Uh, thank you for those of you who are watching and those that asked some questions. I'll, uh, I'll might pick this up later tonight. Uh, we shall see. Um, and I'm pretty sure this recording will go, I'll keep it up on YouTube so people can watch this as a video later. Catch you guys next time. Take care.